The deadly truck attack in Lower Manhattan has suburban communities coming up with new anti-terror measures of their own. These huge dump trucks were deployed at the White Plains Farmers Market Wednesday, putting people like Ginny Deckelman on edge. I'm a little upset about it. I know they have to be there, but it's unfortunate that we're at this point in our lives that this is what we have to live with. On a temporarily closed off section of Court Street downtown, the farmers market is certainly a soft target. But these new black boxes just installed Thursday at both ends of the block are designed to replace the big ugly trucks and still protect people from vehicle attacks like Tuesdays. When it's needed, this heavy-duty, military-grade Kevlar cable is strung all the way across the street to the other black box, and it's capable of stopping a 15,000-pound truck going 30 miles an hour. And it will block, it will hit the engine of a truck and block that truck. This is what it looks like in action, according to the company that makes the device, Barrier One Systems. White Plains Public Safety Commissioner David Chong says as terrorists change their tactics, agencies like his have to change too. Any equipment that we have to use, we will use, uh, depending on the situation, depending on crowd size, and depending on the threat level. Westchester County Police are patrolling bike paths more often, and as part of the Federal Joint Terrorism Task Force, they're enhancing security in light of what happened. We always gear up and uh, increase our number of counterterrorism patrols that are out there. We're actually fed federally funded to do that. So you will see an increased presence at certain critical infrastructure and locations. And hopefully the heightened security and new equipment will calm any fears for people like Ginny Deckelman. I mean, things happen, but you don't think about it all the time. But now I guess you have to think about it. Especially when a terrorist hits so close to home. In White Plains, Westchester County, Brian Connie Bear, CBS2 News. White Plains police say they're anti-terror teams will remain on high alert right through the holidays.